no commitment to the running game, being too cute offensively, trying to outthink their opponents. These are the reasons why John Filippo is out of a job today. And if I were the Eagles, I'd be hitting him up right now. He would be on a plane to the Coliseum right now. I don't care what the title is, special assistant to head coach, whatever it is, you bring him in. If Hugh Jackson was hired less than a week by Cincinnati after he was fired as a head coach, you better damn right I'm bringing Flip in. And then after the season, I'm making him my offensive coordinator. Now, that sounds a lot easier said than done because there are a couple of things that we do have to keep in mind. As crazy as it sounds, I know he just got fired as, as an offensive coordinator, but there are some whispers that John Filippo could be a head coaching candidate. I don't think he's going to be a head coach next year after what happened in Minnesota. But obviously, offensive coordinator is something that is probably going to happen. But here's the thing about that. Doug Peterson's the one who calls the plays in Philly. And John Filippo, I'm sure, is going to want to call some plays. So I don't know if he's going to want to come back. He may rather be elsewhere with more control and having the luxury of calling plays than being here. But here's what I will say. If John Filippo comes back here and Eagles offensively suddenly looks great again next year, that head coaching stock is on the rise again. And he can be a head coach in, say, I don't know, a year or two. So if I were him, I, even if you'd have to relinquish play calling duties, I think it'd be a very smart thing for him to come back here if I were him. It would be a smart thing to do. And Philadelphia, this Eagles organization, I'm, I'm sure they would take him back with open arms. He would have been the offensive coordinator this year. Uh, actually, well, maybe not had Frank Reich not left because, again, going to that play calling thing, maybe, maybe he would have wanted to be the offensive coordinator in Minnesota over Philadelphia because of that. So, with that being said, I mean, hey, Flip is a free agent, but let's take a look at the, the numbers here in Minnesota, though. It, they weren't good. Uh, three years, $84 million, Kirk Cousins got on that deal, $84 million all guaranteed. It's like flushing $84 million down the toilet. They were a top 10 offense heading into November, believe it or not, and they are now 17th. Four of the last five games, they have not totaled 300 yards. Yesterday, 61 yards in the first half. That's it against Seattle. They were basically blanked until a late drive. They, they lost 21-7. to seven. Um, yeah, they're, they're, they're not running the football this year. I mean, the, that Minnesota offense, it, it looks a lot like Philadelphia's. Adam Thielen getting a bulk of the, the targets, kind of like Zach Ertz getting the bulk of the targets here. Adam Thielen has 103 receptions. They're not running the football. Uh, they have Dalvin Cook, but the difference between their running game and the Eagles running game, the Eagles running game, they really just didn't have the running backs. Uh, to be able to, to go through the holes until they found something in Josh Adams. Whereas in Minnesota, you have Dalvin Cook. I mean, you got his injuries. You have Latavius Murray. But the offensive line this year is just not held up. Uh, that line has been a problem over the last couple of years. It was not that much of a problem last year. Riley Reef played really well for them. And that line as a whole is just, you know, on a roll. But just didn't uh, carry over into this year. And – that offense has been a mess. So there you go. I'd bring Flip back to Philly right freaking now if I, that was me. So with that being said, I'm out of here. Those are my thoughts on John D. Filippo. See ya.